June fourteenth, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter sixty two and sixty three from the Old Testament. For God alone I patiently wait. He is the one who delivers me. He alone is my protector and deliverer. He is my refuge. I will not be upended. How long will you threaten a man? All of you are murderers, as dangerous as a leaning wall or an unstable fence. They spend all their time planning how to bring him down. They love to use deceit. They pronounce blessings with their mouths, but inwardly they utter curses. Selah. Patiently wait for God alone, my soul, for he is the one who gives me confidence. He alone is my protector and deliverer. He is my refuge. I will not be upended. God delivers me and exalts me. God is my strong protector and my shelter. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our shelter. Selah. Men are nothing but a mere breath. Human beings are unreliable. When they are weighed in the scales, all of them together are lighter than air. Do not trust in what you can gain by oppression. Do not put false confidence in what you can gain by robbery. If wealth increases, do not become attached to it. God has declared one principle. Two principles I have heard. God is strong, and you, O Lord, demonstrate loyal love. For you repay men for what they do. O oh God, you are my God. I long for you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh yearns for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water. Yes, in the sanctuary I have seen you. And witnessed your power and splendor. Because experiencing your loyal love is better than life itself. My lips will praise you. For this reason I will praise you while I live. In your name I will lift up my hands. As if with choice meat you satisfy my soul, my mouth joyfully praises you. Whenever I remember you on my bed and think about you during the nighttime hours, for you are my deliverer. Under your wings I rejoice. My soul pursues you. Your right hand upholds me. Enemies seek to destroy my life. But they will descend into the depths of the earth. Each one will be handed over to the sword. Their corpses will be eaten by jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. Everyone who takes oaths in his name will boast. For the mouths of those who speak lies will be shut up. God, so far today, things haven't gone so good. <laughs> I woke up to some emails that I really didn't want to read. I continued with a website that has crashed and burned and they're not sure if it can be fixed. I had to deal with a person who isn't respecting my boundaries and hasn't for a long time and now I had to go and get other people involved because they're not listening uh, today it just seemed like one thing after another after another and then in between all of this were all these people wanting things from me and it was just one of those hectic chaotic times in fact it doesn't surprise me in the slightest that last night all I dreamed about were tornadoes kind of is what my life feels like lately and I do realize part of this is the whole persecution that as as I work harder at telling people about you and uh, sharing your amazing goodness and grace and mercy, I, I know that persecution will come. But I also know there's just life and things happen in life. And it just seems lately they've all happened on top of each other, all in about the span of 48 hours. And it's so amazing to me because the things I used to go to that were my comfort parts of my world uh, when things would spiral out of control, 
those comfort things aren't there anymore. Part is because I have learned new ways of dealing with things. But part is because you removed them from my life so that I couldn't have access to them. Um, some went with my blessing. <laughs> Others were taken from me and I'm, I'm learning how to live without them. Uh, I do know that it's all for, for my good so that I can learn what that looks like to rely on you. But my heart just melts in reading about patiently waiting for you alone that you are the one who gives me confidence you are my protector my deliverer you are my refuge and that I will not be upended and today is one of those days where I would normally be upended um, upended angry frustrated lashing out at people and also taking part in some behaviors that were unacceptable Today's different. Today's are, today there's peace. Nothing's been fixed. All those problems are still there and I'll still have to wake up in the morning with them. But, but there's peace. Because I know that no matter what happens in this world, I know what happens in the end. And at the end of my life, I get to go to heaven and spend eternity with you. If the end of the world happens, I know what, ha what happens then you win. <laughs> I do know that it's going to be a struggle to get to those points. But ultimately, I know who gives me confidence. I know who protects me. I know who delivers me. And I definitely know who makes everything right again. So God, even though I'm going to wake up in the morning and all these issues are still going to be there, and they're still going to be in the process of being fixed. The website, we now need to go through a hiring process to get somebody for that. Um, the pastor has to talk to the person that's causing me problems. And that's going to be long and drawn out. The emails I received this morning, uh, I will have to get to those when I get to them. But through all of this, the peace that you've brought into my heart as your child is what is getting me through these days. Getting me past the on the verge of tears moments. Getting me past the pain when, when the disease I have just doesn't want me to go on one more minute. And I know I have four more hours of work to do. God, I know it's you who is giving me that strength and upholding me. Thank you for that. It seems like my life is so completely different now. And I do know it is different because of you. But it's just amazing as I was sitting in my car today, breathing before going into graduation. How I don't know how I dealt with my life before you. How all of that drama that used to be in my life was just there I, I there was no way for me to deal with it and now it just seems so completely different the drama is still there but my heart can breathe and I thank you for that God very much so tomorrow you and I will hit the ground running <laughs> and we'll figure out what this looks like and I know that you always had me in the path that you need me to go. And together, you and I, you and I can take on the world tomorrow. That sounds good, God. Thank you for your strength and your belief in me. Thank you for your blessings and your grace. Thank you for your mercy and forgiveness. And thank you for giving me a whole new way of living and dealing with things. I love you very much. In your son's name I pray. Amen.